splayed and quilled. Hello and welcome back to the channel. In the last tutorial I showed you one of the many ways to color your grayscale images using different blending modes. This week I would like to dare you to paint something new, something you have never tried before. I want you to paint a fairy creature. This challenge comes with a few rules. Number one, the creature must be cute. Number two, uh, the creature can be modeled from an existing animal or it can be uh, coming from your imagination. Number three, the creature must have antennas on the top of its head. <laughs> Why not? It's a challenge after all. Number four, you can only use two brushes. For instance, to create my baby owl, I used the bristles hairy and the airbrush linear brushes. Finally, number five, you must add a background to your creation. It doesn't have to be complicated, as you can see here. I blurred the leaves on the back to create a more dramatic effect. So before you start, here are some quick reminders. Click on the background to make it active. In the color wheel, choose any mid-range color. Hit Shift plus Backspace to fill the background. Lock the layer, this way you won't paint on it by accident. It is time to grab your brush. Now make sure to turn off the pen pressure button if you have installed it. Back to the color wheel, choose a color for your project. Now the only thing left to do is click on your paint layer to make it active and start working. Please remember to change the settings of your brush as needed. Using a low opacity and flow settings will allow you to paint over your strokes, creating a nice effect of volume and color nuances. Rename your first layer of paint. Create a new layer above. Holding the shift key on your keyboard, select both layers and create a group. Click on your newly created layer to make it active and cross the alpha button. This is your clipping mask. Many people forget to use the eraser, it's actually a mistake, because it is very helpful. It helps you shape and correct your strokes, so make a good use of it. As you can see here, my eraser's opacity and flow are low. This allows me to control the amount of paint that I want to remove. Hit Ctrl U to change the U, saturation and lightness of your creation. This can be used on any layers. Finally, it is important to flip your image to catch mistakes. Hit the letter M on your keyboard, that is the shortcut. So here you go, you are now ready to create your own little creature. Just remember to take your time as you saw on the speed painting of the baby owl earlier. You will change things as you go. 
for instance, uh, I started uh, with uh, one type of eyes and uh, ended up with a completely different set of eyes when I was done. So please give it a try and uh, most importantly, uh, have fun doing it. Uh, I will uh, see you uh, next Monday. Until then, have a great week uh, painting. <laughs> Bye.